Antonio Banderas has been a Hollywood leading man since the late 1980s, but he got his start in Almodovar's films earlier in that decade. In Pain and Glory, Banderas plays an aging movie director in such poor health that he worries he'll never make another film. He gives a great performance in a rich and heartfelt drama. We are introduced to Banderas as Salvador in a swimming pool. He's suffering from back pain, migraines, and other ailments as he flashes back to his past. As a boy, he and his mother lived in poverty, but he was already dreaming about movies. Penelope Cruz plays Salvador's resourceful and long-suffering mother, and it's at this young age that Salvador discovers he's attracted to males. In the present day, he's asked to show up at the screening of one of his 30-year-old films, now considered a classic, and he's also asked to recruit the actor who starred in it. It turns out Alberto uses heroin and gives some to Salvador, who's eager to ease the pain of his current reality. And it does help him recall some good memories of childhood. In return, Salvador allows Alberto to appear on stage in a monologue he wrote about a man he loved 30 years ago. And by merest chance, that man just happens to be in Madrid and sees the performance. Eres tú? No, te habría reconocido. Soy Federico. Federico. Federico is in the process of getting divorced from a woman he was married to for many years. ¿Tienes pareja ahora? Sí. No. The two share bittersweet memories for a long time, but they know they have to part. Pain and Glory is a melancholy film, but it does leave the audience with a really satisfying ending. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.